wanted a harp in your band? Well, we it was kind of a fluke, really. Um, I, we would, we did a lot of we had when we first started writing songs like Dog Days and Cosmic Love. We had this. We were so fond of it. It actually got burnt in a fire. This isn't a person. This is a keyboard. <laughs> um, but you, all our equipment set fire in when we were touring in Europe. And it, we we called it. I'm really. Can I? I'm gonna swear. We used to call it the shit keyboard because <laughs> it was cost like a hundred pounds, but it had all these like clunky sounds on it that didn't. And I thought there was something so fascinating about what like a bad electronic instrument's idea of a like a big beautiful thing like that sounded like. <laughs> so we'd have like timpani, but it would sound completely weird and harp. And so the intro for Dog Days I wrote on that harp effect, just, well, it's pretty simple for those of you that have heard it. It's just one note <laughs> over and over again. Um, it's no Beethoven, but I mean, I try. Um, and then, so we'd done all this stuff on the harp effect. And then one day there was a guy walking past the studio with what looked like a telephone box wrapped in a blanket. But it was a harp, and Isa got him in and put harp all over everything that we'd done. And that was Tom. And then because there was harp on everything, we had to have him in the band. So thank you, Tom, for coming with us. Amazing. <laughs>